Hey guys, Corey here, and today we are starting Alan Wake 2. So, I never played the first Alan Wake, but I've heard that you don't really need to play the first one to play the second one, because um, it's kind of its own standalone ordeal. From what I've heard, I haven't seen a whole lot about the game, but it does interest me because it looks kind of like Resident Evil, but more horror, really. So, I'm interested to take a look at it. So, with that being said, let's hop right into this bad boy. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes, it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh, we're in. Playing as... I don't know who the hell this is. But he has a penis! That's fun. Okay. Um... So far, this runs a lot smoother than Lords of the Fallen. That's for damn sure. <clears throat> that game's been nothing but frustration. Oh, they're just gonna leave. Okay, so you see, you see a naked man, and you're afraid of him. It's because my penis is bigger than yours. Uh, do I have a sprint? Oh, I guess not right now. And I also don't know if this game is <clears throat> is very linear or not. But I'm very surprised after playing. After playing. What the fuck? After playing a broken ass game in Lords of the Fallen, that this is. Playing so well. <clears throat> Oh, I can sprint. Am I going to run from something? Probably. But the question is what? Okay, it was not actually there. Hot damn, I thought that was actually there. <clears throat> Woo, hang on one second. I'm going to turn the brightness up just to make it easier for y'all to see because uh, it's looking a little 
And I don't want that film green or motion blur. Get that shit out, out of here. Um, because it's, it's looking very dark on my recording. There we go. It looks a lot better. Okay, so I... Oh, those are not actual... Those are real dudes. Wow, okay. I am intrigued so far. <clears throat> and if I really enjoy this game, I will most likely have to go back and play the first one just for just for shits and giggles. But so far I'm I'm into this. Mom, how are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm Got sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so <clears throat> good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. We watch stuff you. without you. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. <clears throat> I will. Bye, kiddo. Now, I do know that this game is supposed to play, you play as two different characters. Alan and then, I'm assuming, I think it's this lady. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. He looks where she gets that from. very sketchy. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. <clears throat> also, Here we are. <clears throat> for a brand new game, Lake. only being 40 or not 40 hours, 50 dollars as opposed to 60 dollars was a nice, pleasant surprise. Not a big fan of it just being on Epic because I prefer to play my games on Steam, but a deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. I've heard it. There's I've heard the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Probably. Return one invitation. Okay. Um, but I've heard it's that way because Epic funded the entire game. So I heard. Uh, worth memorizing. Before we get swallowed up by the trees. <laughs> okay, Nightmare Territory. The map displays key I locations. Could be our deputy. I can go oh yeah, I can't. Okay, I want to see the map. 
You're not gonna let me? Okay. Over here. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Right. Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga I'm in charge here. Yeah. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already Saga. know my partner, okay. Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that uh this damn bitch gonna show up, Mulligan. Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> uh, that's any witness to the crime? Uh, let's what use a briefing. Tell us about the crime scene. Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some, uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be but you know inside any witnesses were there any witnesses yeah a couple this... out of towners dude what your head is doing? twitching the woods at night not that we have anything against city folk <clears throat> But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Thornton cracks me up. Okay. So we gotta meet Deputy Thornton at the general store. Why can't I view the freaking map? Oh, there we go. You have to press a very specific part. Uh, uh interesting. A very specific part of the touchpad, apparently. But what's this way? Nothing. Oh, it does let us go back here, though. <clears throat> That's cool, at least. Okay, let us go. Before see. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case. So. Oh, case board. The mine place, my version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Hmm. The facts are on the board. And goals. Oh. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay, so do we have to actually, like, solve mysteries in this? Because if so, that's pretty freaking cool. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Okay. Bruising on wrist, deep gash in chest, heart missing, all bodies experience bloating. You're now free to navigate the case board by or leave by pressing circle. Okay. Um <clears throat> Postmortem tattooing. The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Victims, what is these three? Okay, so. Are these tied up with each other, I'm assuming? 2018, two weeks ago, 2010. Uh, all victims reported missing in 2010. Oh, they're all... Okay, never mind. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess that's... Visiting a mindful place does not pause the game, so be mindful of nearby threats. Okay. 
so we need to watch what we're doing when we do when we go in there. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Um, it's locked. Can I pull up my pissy out? A creepy twig sculpture. Hmm. Something tells me we're gonna go in there later. <clears throat> hey Casey, you putting me in charge? Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? Oh, wow. There's a lot to... You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. All right, so I don't know if I'm actually supposed to be looking for clues or not. <clears throat> but I feel like he's kind of rushing me just a little bit, and I don't appreciate it. I also. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> also, it's the only six to die. Mare Peak. The Monty Mountain in the distance is no other than Mare Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Too much sky. What do you mean by that? What the fuck is back here? Hang on. I'll be back in a second. Roger. This is just an actual ginormous fucking path. Oh, I can't go. Oh, excuse me. I can't go all the way up there. I can go back here though. More symbols. The hiking trail. Oh. Welcome back, Anderson. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, uh -oh. the coffee's on me. You're Thornton. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. <laughs> That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Oh, gosh. So... FBI, huh? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> oh, Let's just see this body, shall we? Mm -hmm. There's the body. scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Uh, yeah, it does, actually. Step one. Examine the corpse. Where do I examine it? So I'm trying not to. Uh, there we go. Body is positioned on the table. Stick. <clears throat> you unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Okay. Um, uh, up here will allow Saga to see active clues. The key image can be selected with X and placed on the case board. Uh, 
Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Okay. Oh, so there is three others to go with this? I gotta find evidence for that. Solve that, I guess. So I'm trying to actually... From the body, okay. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. That looks delicious. Gosh. Oops. Why can't I put it there? Are you going to let me... Is that out where that goes? On to the open question. Okay, I was trying to do that. Removed from chest, <clears throat> strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Okay, the clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigations, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. You can check the updated goals by pressing triangle. One more about the victim, one more about the killer. Okay, we can do that. Hmm. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Yeah. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? It would appear so. With lots of alcohol, what's Someone gonna be in here? Drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Um, what is that game where you, um, I can't think of what it is. Um, it's a rock star game where you play as a uh, detective, and your only deal is just to solve all the all the. His name is Knight. Um, he was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Well, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. Robert Nightingale. Oh yes, you probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Okay, so there he is. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as by examining your surroundings. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but, no, this, this makes me think of that, uh, of the game where you play, you're in New York, I think. Um, and you have to go and um, just find clues to solve uh, murders and mysteries and such and investigate people. Wonder what's inside. Confused, follow the steps. Wash your hands. Take to open this thing. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Okay. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. Well, we'll go do all I that. I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Uh. All right. So wash my hands. Blah blah. blah. I don't see anything. I'm assuming I'm looking for a clue here. Um, oh, these are the patterns. Hang on. Wait. No. 
Uh, let's take a look at this real fast. Okay, so wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, and then take a nap. So first, washing my hands is going to be double triangle, mountain top things, chicken out of the fridge, on the fridge, it's going to be that. Okay. So let me put those in here real fast before I forget them. I know it's only three, but that, that, and then the last one. Since we're taking a nap, is the down spiral ones? Question mark? No, napping will be back here. Okay, like that. Where's this? Uh, let this be a warning to you fellow trespassers. They say the lake uh, is caldera, something formed by an eruptive volcano or the sinkholes. It, is, it leaves in its wake. But what if it, that's not true? <clears throat> what if something else, some something less natural and more man-made intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake preparing and I know it. Wow. Okay. First drawing, a waterline, a real caldera is made for a volcano, lava. Um, interesting. Okay. So. Hey, Casey. Uh, What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the... A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, a triangle. Do. That's funny. Uh, was it? I can't remember if it was this. No, there's not a. Oh. Okay. I was like, why can't I find it? <clears throat> Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. All that for some ammo and some beds. Okay. And a picture. Some evidence. Can I put that on my board? Oh, that's the map, my bad. Victim, put that over there. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Okay. He was FBI. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why service now? Where has he been? I haven't heard a word put that about there. Well, until now. Oh, that's for later. So that doesn't, killed here? that doesn't go up yet. After. Hmm. For display. Okay. Um, footprints. I've already looked at the footprints. I don't have anything to ask him. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Hmm. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's Oof. more to that story. But no happy ending. Okay. Oops. All right, so let's go back to our case board here. Uh, Casey, don't you go one off the deep end? Uh, victim. Robert Nightingale, <clears throat> ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Hmm. Okay, so I still need to find information on the killers. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? So there has to be stuff around here. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Picnic area. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. No. 
kind of getting the feeling that uh, Thornton has something to do with this whole ordeal, but that may be me overlooking it. Let's see about the lake house. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Are you gonna let me in? Nice talking to you too. Okay. What if I try again? Just gotta be persistent. No. Okay. Then let's go and try to find some more information. Uh. <clears throat> I mean, I would think there'd be something else in here. Because there's all these crazy tree things. I mean, I already looked at this. That's just a something in Crane's person room. And let's just maybe the people at that giant lake house are, in fact, the cause of all of this. Very doubtful, but... Alright, so that takes us back over there. <clears throat> so let's follow this path down. Because this is going to take us to where he actually was, wasn't it? Isn't it? think some tents Oop, there's something back here is that a oh. kids lunchbox an alex casey movie lunchbox hmm. casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books but he really hates the movies that's funny how do you like the knitting hero i'm at, i had it made just for you Manuscript fragments, okay. <clears throat> Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons. Oh, in the mine place. Ho -ho. Oh, it takes a lot to upgrade this, but this is my pistol. Um, land two headshots of quick succession to stun an enemy for an extended duration. Increase magazine size by 50%. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. Ooh, ooh, that's legit. Hell yeah. All right, well, so I need to learn more about the killer. Which is what I'm trying to do. <gasps> I just don't know if I'm going the right way or not. Apparently not. So, we're going to make our way back over to our friends and Mr. Penis over here. Who I'm trying very hard not to get in the. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Not to get in the scene. Something else. Oh. Duh, right there. I didn't how did I miss that? Someone left in a hurry. Put the tripod over. Wow, I can't believe that was all I was missing. Camera? All right, so there's the weapon upgrades, it's a map, and this is the Did I not get that? I guess I didn't get the evidence on that. I thought I did. Yeah. Cases. So I have a background case.
finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Another message from this? Oh, wow, really? Okay. Uh, oops, it doesn't go there. Who left these? No? The lake area? Yeah. Okay, well. Let's go back to the murderer. Alright, so these are both for later use. So I gotta find more stuff about the killers. Found the footprints. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Okay. I think that's everything. For Somehow that's what I missed. Okay. Footprints <clears throat> indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Well, found that. And I found this already, so. That made for fast work. To happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. Mm -hmm. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from... Oh, what's going on? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Hey, let's profile. Using our intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Uh, that's a missing person. Before his murder. Okay. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Find the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. Somebody's some home. Act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Okay, so somebody's home, meaning the people at the lake house? Um, am I able to, it's the only thing I have to profile? Yeah. Okay. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, right? Right. Well, okay, well, I'll just, uh... I'll just wait here. You do that, Thornton. This is one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. Mm -hmm. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Hang on. Sure. Hold it's not on. That complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his oh, heart it's out. The... But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. Uh -huh. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Yeah, so those are just random people. a chapstick that's what it looks like i just picked up man 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 did i actually pick up chapstick oh it's a battery pack oh for my flashlight a lunchbox again 
Who's leaving these out here? <clears throat> I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Okay. Well, I just got a single manuscript fragment. That's not going to be helpful anytime soon. There is something going on in this shack. The Witch's Hut. Here lived the Witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spilt spirits may still haunt this place. Oh, fuck. I didn't, wasn't ready to just burst in here. Mm. Am I? Okay, I'm the one moving the chairs. I was like, holy shit. Don't see anything. Oh, this is anticlimactic. Climactic. Okay, so where am I at right now? I take you to the witch's hut. I kind of just went like way the fuck off the path. Oh, this is the lake. Did I skip something? And just straight up just ditch Casey? Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Oh. Well, at least she just went out in the water. Brave lady. Bandage? I think is what that was. That's what that had to have been, right? Sorry, I'm still trying to get the yeah, trauma pen. What's our locket? Oh, increases maximum health. Okay. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so it is, I do like that there's, um, it seems very linear, but there is a couple of different paths, at least here in the tutorial so far, that I'm able to go down, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so this is back where we first saw Thornton. I never went in here. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Yeah. And so the little thing at the in the corner shows as far as what um uh, um shows how much how many how many pieces of evidence there are. At such, such and such area. Uh, this room back here. Let's go take a look at here. Uh, nine three. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. No to sell. Train the fielder. Tuesday 9-4, nothing reports. Animals, regular. Wednesday 9-5, hunters out for dark poachers. Heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Got to keep an eye on those people. Uh, they could get more than they bargained for out here. Hmm. Interesting. Can I go through this door back here? Nope. That is blocked off. Maybe we'll be going back there here in a little bit. I also, I know I am. Um, this is not the way I want to go, I don't think. I know I'm doing a lot of extra stuff for just the tutorial, but I am curious to explore explore what this has to offer okay so this is going to take us back down to the lake down there and this will take us back here. okay did you know this entire area is inside a caldera this whole mountain used to be an active volcano imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. 
I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. <laughs> Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. I didn't know trees got that big. So now there's more stuff over here. You need to get out more. Okay, I can't actually go over there. Witchfinder Station. Okay. Now I'm just exploring too much, probably. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. Huh. Did you get lost, Anderson? Yeah, I definitely got lost. Examine the block pass. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> Cracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Probably. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How, How could, could they, they not accept? accept? Even, Even if, if they, they knew, knew it would end, end up hurting them. them. Hmm. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. I don't like that this at all. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Uh, manuscript pages can be read. Nightingale okay. about this page. Oh yeah, so let's go back here and let's do some profiling. Um, Nightingale. We the page. A, page in the woods. a story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside, the awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him, in his chest. Oh. Let's find out what. Ooh. Okay. So we got to go in there and. Uh. <laughs> Dig some stuff out of his chest. Yay. That's going to be fun. Okay. <clears throat> put that there. And then put that there as well. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Anything else? Well, we have all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh, hell yeah. So we just completed completed this investigation is what I'm assuming. Well, we haven't completed it yet. We've got to something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text Said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? 
witnesses to their hey, design. You made it back. Good. All the above. It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Oh, we Crazy did. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Okay, let's get the body back Deputy. to the town. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. But the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Well, thank you for that, Thornton. Oh. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls. So I don't... Talk to these witnesses. The bookers. Yeah, so I don't need to be... Let's okay. try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Okay, I guess we're not gonna be investigating the body. So I thought she said she would do it herself. Let's go. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. <laughs> you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Okay, so so far, I like Saga and I like Casey. They're both very, very cool. And they work they work really well together as partners, and it's hilarious. We're all heroes in this. Have a heroic day. Main scripts. Oh yeah. Okay, let's <clears throat> oh, get out of here. Um, let's start working on another case real fast. Since I've got two of them. I don't know how many more there are to find here. Oh, there's a lot. Wow, okay. There's a lot there, too. And there's two there. Okay. Well. That's a good thing, at least. That means that there's lots of upgrades available. <laughs> Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? You didn't Maybe. see that? And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. I'll look around. What are you Do doing, Casey? Are you stuck? <laughs> How did you get stuck? Yes, I'm playing a game, Bubba. Yeah. I'm playing a game, Shiloh. You can say hi. That's okay. Yeah. Mwah. Okay. Steep climb, cauldron link. Um. Let's go up the hike. She said she wanted to go hiking. Oh, this takes us to the same. Same way. That's lame. Okay, well we let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Didn't miss anything. I hope Oh, I can go back in here. I hate that because it makes me feel like I'm missing stuff. Which I mean I'm I probably am. By no by no means am I trying to hundred percent this. I'm sure we're gonna come back here. I wanna walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Can I get up there? No. Oh, um, I can. Oh, it's just a hike path, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I'm just wasting time at this point. So, let's investigate their car? Cannot, okay. And let's hop in the car and go. It's a Bright Falls. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Wow, so we're just here. The diner's <laughs> just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. One of interest cases. Track objects, information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Hmm. Oh boy, so there's a lot of stuff that we can do here. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you, lady? Okay. Oh. Out of this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Padman. Also, am I able to uh gameplay, probably. Uh, when on, you can change from... Yeah, that's what I needed. Okay. So I'm tired of holding it. It's locked. Dead end. That is padlocked back here. I need bolt cutters. Oh. I'm sure we can find some bolt cutters around here somewhere. I don't know if any of these people have anything important to say or not, either. Wait. Uh, points of interest. Hang on. Map. Oh, I don't have a map for this yet. Shit. Okay. Welcome back, Anderson. Anderson. I'll be back in a second. Right. Oh, should I burst in here? So sleepy. Just a few more days. Why are you so sleepy, dude? And could it be that the entire town is a giant ass cult? Oh, we can just go into every. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, bro. All right, night. Okay. Good to see you. You're weird, bro. I don't like you. Uh, oh, there's... I thought there's someone sleeping in there. Okay. <clears throat> Cauldron Lake, looking at news and rumors. Focus on 2010. Cross-reference with old case files from New York City Colts. Uh, found out name of good coffee from diner. Interesting. Uh, it's just pitch black in there. Don't I have a flashlight? Yeah. Circle to pull it out. Okay. But it uses batteries, so. At someone else's room. And it's also someone else's room. So is that, and it's not opening. So is that. So we can't just go wherever we want to go. 
Why is there stuff shining back here? She doesn't have anything to say, apparently. Hello. Hello. Didn't I? No, that's different, dude. Okay. There's no music for you to be dancing to, dude. You're just dancing like a weirdo. Some hot sauce. Rest easy, buddy. What is she? What affiliation does she have with deer? Because that's the second one that she just petted like that. I can't force it open. Oh, is this our case room? This is our case room. That's cool. I did not know that. Okay, well, nothing, nothing cool in here. So I guess we'll just go this way. Did you get lost, Anderson? Yes, hundred percent. Hey. Hey. Hey, you there? Hey, how's it going? None of these people have anything to say. That's where I need to go. Hi there. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. Nice to have you here. Did you forget something? Oh, it's watching just fine. Oh, here's a map. Well, there's a lot to this conversation, locked doors, new choices, the sheriff station's back there. Let's go to the diner, I guess. Yep, that's where we're supposed to go. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Mm-hmm. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. What are you doing? Lady dude. Oh, you're cleaning. Okay. A nice old park. The passage of time is deceiving. The days of our lives are what did I just walk up to? <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming there's not anything here that I'm missing. And if there is, it's... It would take a long time for me to find it, so we're just going to continue. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your Let's... deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. I wonder if this is the... Yeah, these, these are the two that were scared. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to go back here and see. That's locked. This is unlocked. This is the bathroom. That's locked. Can't believe that happened. Still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Excuse Hi. me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. 
So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Hey, so... So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. I don't like her. What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Wait, what the fucking eyes? Gosh. Why did you say it was a cult? <laughs> the mask, the knives aren't enough. They were shouting, cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Thank you, Ed. And then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. What'd you find? That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go profile. We're wrong. Yeah, we're gonna go profile and see because she's keeping some stuff. Why can't I just there we go? She's keeping some shit from us. This mug always cheers me up. The bookers. Cold to the tree. the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Annie. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Mm -hmm. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. Hmm. Still don't like Tammy. She seems very snobby and stuck up. Um. So there are some here at the Bright Falls area. I don't have anything new to put here, do I? Yes, I do, actually. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Ew. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. <laughs> oh. Hey, not wrong with being excited about that. Um, Colt stashes? I have some of these. Found one at least. These stashes could contain clues about the Colt. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay. Yeah, I found one here in the Bright Falls area. Thought, yeah. Nah. Oh, no, I found it by the lake. Okay. There's five by the lake, and then there's a ton here. So, is this the only area that I actually go by? Oh, this one's closed. Okay. Pull to the tree. <clears throat> I need to know more about the cold of the. Because this seems like just this seems like a lot of stuff for there to be.
um, for this to be just a short area. Thanks, Saga. Oh, no, no, my bad. Cult psychology. I don't go there. Cult go. I don't go there. Who's involved? No. Oh, yep, that goes there. Cult symbols. Okay. Yeah, because there's a, this is a ton of clues. Like a ton, a ton. I have six. Um, I don't have anything else to say about that, so... Okay, let's go back and interview them again. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing near me. Thank you. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing you. But... Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Who are you? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. Read her no, name please. tag, silly. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. <laughs> Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. What? Okay. Well, that just opened more questions. All right. Um, so yeah, let's Rose, ask. Help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious, but soon enough there will be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. Hello. Okay, am I is she the only person I can talk to? Take it easy. How can you be so calm? Yes, so be around. Um hang on. Bolts. Examine Nightingale's body. Cult necklace that I'll go on the symbols, right? Yeah. Okay. All set? Yeah. You guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Mm hmm. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deer fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true! More the merrier. Okay, yeah. One, Stop talking about beer fest. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? 
What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. We are going to the... No, this is shit new. This is not where I want to go. I'd like oh, okay. to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. So that is going to take us to the morgue. I just feel like... But I guess not. I guess there's not anything. Uh... How do I get in there? Hang on. There's some cult shit going on over there. This is the kind of stuff I don't want to miss. I'm not going in there yet, so hang on. Great business of yours going. We missed you at trivia night. You did. Uh huh. So I can't get in there yet. Yeah, I'm convinced this whole fucking town is in on something. Like the deer fest is the. This is the same symbol as that cult necklace. The deer fest is the cult, uh, like a cult thing. Yeah, shit's gonna go wild, and we're gonna have to. Yeah, I can just feel it. Now that we're seeing all these symbols and stuff in town. Go in. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. You don't look so happy, Thornton. Have a nice day. Oh dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. Oh no, a bear. Help. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Coscola Brothers is back okay. towards unforgettable tour experiences. Okay. That's right. I'm Ilmo Coscola Brothers. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mean to just fucking break into your private conversation. Nothing I can do back there. So okay, let's just go to the morgue. Home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Okay, let's see what's in our dude. There's something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. Yeah, we're gonna be getting the bolt cutters to take a look at all this stuff. Battery? We're snooping in people's lockers now, apparently. Nothing in that one. I can't force locked. it open. Okay. Let's take a look at oh, our patient. He is still naked. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. There's writing on here can't make it out writing 
Writing on the heart. Through the case board. Uh, the graffiti is in plain sight. Does it have a deeper significance? Yes, in fact, it does. The entire town is fucking nuts. Okay, um, Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Put that there. Yeah, there's a ton, a ton to learn from this. <laughs> they could write this on the heart. How can, how I, I can't make it out. Is that just what it says? How I can't make out what it says. Okay. Cause of death. So now to go put up a fight. They restrained him. Okay, put this over here. Oh, come on. Did it go there? No. Ritual writing? Yeah. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. How do you mark the heart? Like, while it's in someone's body. Sure. Okay. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay, so I guess we're fixing to go digging in his chest. This is going to be fun. Mmm. Gotta love that penis. Piece of paper. It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. He just disappeared. Sheriff? What the hell? Oh, he's alive. What the fuck? There goes Naked Man. I'm sure I call him Naked Gale. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. For what? He's coming. No weapon. The page is set to get into the light. Okay. <clears throat> Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Huh. So when you're here, you can't protect me he can't see me in the light how does that work my gun's out in the hall gotta get it back Help me. 
Safe, haven, safe havens will restore your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will temporarily become, become unavailable. Gotta move. Now. Go, 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 go. Oh. Yeah, you can just be dead. What? Okay. Okay, so we finished chapter one of Alan Wake 2. So far, I am... That was creepy. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm very interested in the story of it. And I'm kind of surprised I didn't play the first one like sometime whenever it came out. Because this seems like something I would be really interested in. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this. But for here, we're going to just stop this at this chapter, at the end of the first chapter. And I really feel like things are fixing to ramp up at the second chapter. Because I don't feel like we've seen the, the last of Naked Gale. <laughs> at this little at this part that we're at now so um anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this part and like always thank you so much for liking commenting, subscribing and i'll see you on the next one bye